LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, real quick shout out to uh, Steve Austin and a couple other people that, you know, really definitely been rolling strong with the coach. But, uh, you know, Steve Austin added to this video, okay? He added to this video. Um, and I just want to talk about the people that are around Chris Cyborg, okay? I actually want to talk about the people that are around Chris Cyborg that really don't mean her. In, they don't give a damn about Cyborg's well-being. And I know there are a few of y'all. You're sitting back, man, I'm sick and tired of you always advocating for Cyborg. But you know what? I, I don't give a damn what you think, okay? I'm going to advocate for whoever I want to advocate uh, for, and that's just the way that is, okay? See, let me tell you something, and I've told y'all this, and told y'all this, and told y'all this, that Chris Cyborg, I don't care how you slice it or dice it, okay? She is going to get a bad rep. She's never going to get a fair shake. It doesn't matter. I'm not an advocate of Cyborg from 2009. That's not the Cyborg I'm an advocate of. I am an advocate of the Chris Cyborg of 2017 and 2016. That Cyborg. That Chris Cyborg who has worked her way up to the top to be the best. And still, on top of all of this, okay, she, you know, gets belittled by the UFC. Okay, she's getting ridiculed. She's getting made, made fun of. Okay, you have people that work within the UFC that are calling her names, saying that, you know, uh, she, she's a man. Okay, you I mean, this woman has been through so much damn just mental, mental torture by the UFC, the media, and the world. This woman has been through it all. Okay, and still, this woman still trains. She trains hard. But she's got a group of people, and I and I put these people on top for y'all. These people, where you see where, you know, I got the cursor pointing to. See, these people are around Cyborg, and they don't mean, they, they don't give a damn about her well-being. They don't. And I'm going to start off with Tito Ortiz, okay? You know, Tito Ortiz, the, 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 the whisker biscuit, ball-headed bastard, he, you know what he does? You know, he sits back. And, you know, all the while Cyborg is trying to make a weight cut, oh, yeah, he's there. Oh, stop bitching. Stop complaining. Stop crying. This is what real champions do. But, Tito, let's, let's just go ahead and break something down. Let's really break something down. Okay, Tito Ortiz fights at 205. That's been his weight class, okay? This dude walks around at 220, and let's really, I mean, does, does Tito Ortiz really understand, you know, does he really understand what it takes to, to make a tough weight cut? Well, and I know some of you idiots are going to come on here. Well, Coach, he's a fighter. Of course he knows how to. And I'm just going to tell y'all, shut your damn mouth and know your damn level when you talk. Because the coach is going to show you right now what it is. Okay, now I found a nice little article about our boy Tito Ortiz, okay, about weight. So this is going to shut, you know, uh, it's going to shut a lot of you guys the hell up when you start coming at me with Tito Ortiz knows how to make weight. Okay, so it says UFC Hall of Famer Tito Ortiz claims that the promotion's light heavyweight division was made for him so naturally he's never had a problem making weight. Okay, so listen, let's look at this. Let's go down here. He says, I walk around at 220, 225, and cutting to 20 pounds is really easy. Uh, of course, cutting 20 pounds is easy. I, I mean, I've cut 20 pounds multiple times. I've cut 50 pounds. I mean, cutting 20 pounds and you're a man, it's, it, it's, it's much easier to cut 20 pounds as a man than it is a woman. Folks, that's common sense. It's common sense. It's common freaking sense. Okay? But he's sitting there all smug. Well, 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 well Chris, uh, you know, you can make the way. Stop complaining. Stop crying. Stop bitching. Come on, this is what champions do. Right. Okay? Tito Ortiz don't give a damn about Chris Cyborg. And I'm about to prove it to you right now, okay? I'm going to prove it to you right now. And here, here's an article. I want you all to look at this. Okay, so Chris Cyborg point blank came out and said, Listen, I've been advised by a doctor that I cannot fight until March. My body needs to recover. Now, it's funny that UFC they offered the 145-pound championship in February. I'm going to tell you all something. And I don't like using a lot of cuss words in my videos, but they did that shit on purpose. Okay, and then you got Tito Ortiz right here talking about, oh, I told her to take the fight. Uh, she said, Tito, I've been working, she said, to, uh, well, Tito told her, I've been, you know, she's been working really hard for the last three years. Uh, she's been, well, she told Tito this, I'm sorry, that she's been working hard for, for the last three years, been cutting a lot of weight. 
and you know she said she wanted to go on vacation and all that I understand that but when you're cutting weight like that on a consistent basis it's bad and her doctor her doctor told her look <laughs> you gotta sit down Chris you need to sit the hell down until March from that last weight cut and I know Cyborg saying she want to do some stuff personally, but the doctor, her own doctor said that you need to stop, okay, or you're going to be in, in dire straits. The doctor told her this, okay. Chris Cyborg was, was literally, unfortunately, deathly ill. She got sick, okay. I mean, Tito Ortiz don't care. He's still telling her, look, go take the fight anyway. What? what, what are you serious? So you got a trainer, you, you have a trainer that's sitting back that's telling you, hey, take this fight anyway. Let's go ahead and take the fight anyway. Take it anyway. Really? Okay, so now Tito Ortiz is a damn doctor. I mean, this catnip, ball-headed, whisker-biscuit bastard is a doctor now? Are you serious? Look at this guy. Would you take medical advice from Tito Ortiz? I mean, anybody in the comment section, explain, would you take t advice, medical advice from Tito Ortiz? My answer, that would be a hell no. No. And let's move on to this guy right here. The quote-unquote nutritionist. Now, this guy right here, I've been, I've been ill about this dude from day one. I've always said this dude is shady. I've, been, I've said this guy is shady for the longest. And shout out to Steve Austin because we're confirming that, I mean, I pretty much point blank said it. This guy is shady. But Steve Austin, I'm going to go ahead and play this clip. I'm going to play this clip. Shout out to Steve for this one. Now, I want y'all to listen to this. Just listen. You know girls don't need to be high. It's true. You know this, uh, this is not help anything. You know? I, uh, you know, the, what, what you're taking is actually a natural diuretic. It's, it's a no, very fine. It is. It's an aldosterone blocker. It actually blocks aldosterone, and your doctor probably wouldn't know about it because she doesn't no, know. No, she don't know why. No, no, George, George, because you make you heavy. Okay, so you can clearly hear Cyborg and this piece of crap arguing. Now, on Cyborg's part, you know, could grief. If you thought something was was suspicious. Then on my part, I'm thinking, why take it? But I guess, you know, she's really trying to make this vicious weight cut. And this guy has already sold her on the deal that, oh, okay. Okay, well, yeah, you got to make this weight cut. And this is what we got to do. So he pretty much already sold her. And, you know, you listen to the rest of it. He's just telling her that, yeah, you know, well, you got to take this. And he kind of just went around it, the whole thing. But he told her, yeah, you know, you got to take this. And if not, you're not going to make weight, okay? So it's for a weight cut, but really he was giving her birth control pills, okay? He was giving her ass birth control pills to control, I guess, the water weight in her body. And that's what birth control pills do, I guess, to an extent. So, you know, I, I never trust this guy. This guy, he always said, yeah, I just want people to make the weight safely. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay? Because this guy was in a room of people, you know, watching this girl kill herself to make 140 pounds. Not one of these people on top. I'm talking about the people on the top that claim that they, they're really concerned about Chris Cyborg. Not one of these people actually went in and said, you know what, hey, uh, listen, this is too much, okay? This is not worth it. Because everybody has a vested interest. Everybody stands to make a lot of money. And everybody wants their 5 to 10% of the cut. They all want it. They all want it. And this guy right here, Jason Perillo. I'm going to tell you something. He's undercover slick, okay? This guy don't give a damn about Cyborg. And, and you know what? Let me tell you something. A am, am I like one of the only rational thinking people who was watching it thinking, no, man, somebody need to stop this. Somebody need to stop this right now. Okay, but this is what he said. He said, what we do is we all sit here in a room and watch a human being bring themselves close to death. That's what the hell she was doing. Because Cyborg ass was nearly dead, okay? And I want you guys to scroll down and fast forward to this picture right here. Cyborg was almost dead, okay? Look at this, y'all. And you guys, many of you, you've probably seen this already. Look at this. They have to fan you off. I mean, they, they're trying to cool you off. They, you just, she got out of a sauna. And I want y'all, look at this dude right here. Look at this guy. 
this guy in his head, he's probably thinking, you know what? This girl could die. Like, he's got that look on his face like, homegirl could be dead if this don't stop. And he's ultimately concerned. This guy's concerned. He's like, okay, damn, you know what? What the hell? You know, what else does she have to do? Like, anybody with a brain knew that this, you know, pretty much it was messed up. And then I want to get to this guy. This guy right here. This is her so called boyfriend. I'm going to tell you something right now. And you know what? I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell you this whether you want to hear it or not. This guy don't give a damn about Chris Cyborg. You want me to tell you who he care about? He care about what Cyborg is to become. I don't even think he physically attracted to Cyborg. I'm just being honest. Body language don't lie to me. I think he's attracted to the point that Cyborg is, is this dominating fighter. And, and, and probably, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, they get into the, in the bedroom and she probably do some old crazy, freaky stuff. He's probably attracted to who Cyborg is. Like what she has become. This, this, this world-renowned feared fighter. That's what he's attracted to. And he's attracted to the future income that a Chris Cyborg will bring. One day, it's going to catch on and she's going to become an attraction. He's attracted to that. He's attracted to the name of Cyborg. I don't think he's attracted to her. Because he's supposed to be the quote-unquote her, her significant other. But look at him, man. He the main one telling her, babe, you can do this, babe. I mean, 140 pounds, this girl was dead. And listen, let me go ahead and tell y'all something right now. And again, I don't like cussing a lot of my videos. But to a lot of you dummies, what the fuck does this say? The doctor tried to take out my blood. And my blood cannot go out. Too thick, too thick, they cannot go. They couldn't take blood out of her body. But you got people in the comment section. For some reason, you dudes are doctors. You dudes are damn lawyers. You dudes are managers. You dudes are accountants. Some of you people shut up. Because I've already checked with two. Two family practitioners and one nurse of 25 years. And they all tell me. They all tell me that the diuretic that Cyborg was using is frequently prescribed. Okay, for people. It is a diuretic. And they prescribe that to people who have extra fluid in the body. They prescribe it to people. It is a diuretic. That's what it is. It does not enhance performance. And what her doctor did, because she was dehydrated, they made her ingest lots and lots of fluid. More than normal. And so she also needed a diuretic to stabilize the fluid balance in her body. She couldn't have too much in her body. And I'm not going to believe somebody. In, I'm sorry. I'm just not. I'm, I'm taking the word of the medical practitioners that told me my information and a 25-year registered nurse. Because they know a whole hell of a lot more than these drugs than you do. I'm going to tell you something. See, these people right here, they mean no, they mean no good for Cyborg, the people on top. See, Cyborg messed up. And let me go ahead and circle this gentleman right here, okay? See, what a lot of fighters tend to do, this guy, when you look and this guy interview, you know, yeah, maybe this guy has a past. But he actually genuinely seemed to care about Cyborg physically, the person Cyborg. He seemed to genuinely care. And a lot of times what fighters do is that they'll leave their roots. They'll leave their roots because they think something is bigger and better or they think that the grass is greener on the other side. But I think Cyborg is starting to find out that the grass is not greener on the other side. And I also know that I think she's starting, she's not dumb. And I think she's picking up on a lot of these people don't care. You see even the way she was questioning Tito. She was asking him simple questions and what was Tito doing? Being a whisker biscuit, ball headed asshole that he was, he was cutting her off. She was trying to explain stuff, and he cutting her off. I can't stand people like that. I can't stand it. Like, this girl not stupid. The only thing is, I think that she's afraid to leave this team because of the paydays. And that's just how it is. But 
I won't be surprised if Cyborg get a 9 to 12 month suspension. Okay, I, it's coming. And I think this guy right here, I think this guy right here, this polar bear ass looking dude right here, I think this is the guy that set Cyborg up, that gave it his stuff and told, I, oh yeah, this is the guy behind everything. I never trusted this guy, and I never thought this guy was good for the camp. And you know what? I think I'm right. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.